this Home Depot Design Center, there are only two in America. As soon as you step into this house, you'll see modern elegance set the tone. Welcome to the American Dream TV, the show that is built on lifestyle, culture, and real estate. I'm your host, Amy Scruggs. In this episode, we are headed to Washington, D.C. and Maryland, where we will be featuring Nurit Koum and Alex Martinez. Let's get this episode started right now. The search is over, baby. I'm right here, and I got it. The American Dream, the only show that combats negative media, not owned by a network, commercial free, unscripted. I got it. These are stories for you and by you. So welcome back to another episode of the American Dream. I'm Alex. I'm Nareet. And we are here at the Home Depot Design Center. This Home Depot Design Center, there are only two in America. One in San Diego and one right here in Rockville. Which is five minutes away from our office. Right next to our office. And this is really fun because when you tour this place, uh, it's unbelievable what happened to technology and kitchen and baths. This is like sci-fi. So I can't wait to show you this new trends in kitchen and bathrooms. All right, let's go and talk to Anna. Let's go. Welcome to the Home Depot Design Center in Rockville, Maryland. Thank you for having us. So this design center, tell us about it. So this design center is 35,000 square feet of kitchen and bath. And we have 16 kitchen vignettes. We are here in one of them, which is a very contemporary kitchen. Yes. And there's a lot of new trends in appliances, right? Yes, there is. And now what behind you right here, we have a refrigerator here, which you just have to tap in and it opens. And as we open, it opens all the way wide. This has a stain, stain, stainless steel inside. Stainless steel inside. And uh, as we step here, we see this unique oven. Yes. Tell us about how it opens. What's what unique about it, right? Yes. One unique thing about this oven is that guess what? You don't have to pull it down. It opens sideways all the way. How smart! So this is great, Anna. I know we'll talk about another oven. Uh, why don't we go and take a look at it? Yeah. Let's go check it out. All right. We're good. Here we are, it's the Ferrari of ovens. We call it the Ferrari of ovens because it's painted by the Ferrari company. You know what I love? How they combine the different metals. Yes. Totally in style. Yes, that's awesome. And you guys are graciously having a chef right there giving a demonstration. Yes, we, Chef Joe is ready for us, so let's yeah. head over there. So we have uh, Chef uh, Joe and Chef Eric, they would prepare an amazing meal for us. Yes, a rack of lamb using the oven pizza. Scallops with smoked uh, oil paprika and some polenta. So this star burner is part of the Thermador appliances and that's what, uh, how, that is so amazing. I have one in my house and I love cooking on it. And you know, they also have virtual classes where the cooking right here in this kitchen are amazing chefs. So we're here upstairs where we can find anything you need for a luxurious bathroom. This is beautiful because I came here with my son and we just tested every shower head. Is that amazing? That's because so much fun. Right, because if you want to test which one has the good feel for you, for your bathroom, how you like it, this one I love. That 16 is a seller for sure. Look at that pressure. So freestanding tab 
have the tubs is the in thing right now. And having that in all these colors, and it comes in gloss and matte, it's beautiful. Um, we also, if you want to spend over $10,000 on a toilet, the Home Depot Design Center has it right here. So this toilet actually has so many features. Uh, it's got uh, music and lights and uh, bidet, of course, and heat. And Super high tech. Alex, is that too cool? Oh my god, this is so much fun. <laughs> I know, I just love it. At the Home Depot Design Center, we get to actually test before we buy the faucets, the shower heads. There's actually a working kitchen downstairs. You can check out all these appliances. And this is important things that you can do. Come on, check it out. We had lots of fun right here at the Design Center. Great place, and I know we talked about our new listing in Potomac. It's a gorgeous, luxury, craftsman house. Let's go and check it out. All right, let's go. We're right here at Thrush Landing, Potomac. This house is sitting in one of the DC area's most desirable community, right here in Potomac, close to the village. It's sitting on about an acre of land in a beautiful cul-de-sac. Uh, there is so much to this property. Yes, it's over 11,000 square feet, built in 2015. As soon as you step into this house, you'll see modern elegance set the tone. So let's walk in. Absolutely, let's have some fun. All right, Norit, so tell me what you love about this property. There's so many things I love about this house, but I tell you, the feel. This house is large, right? It's 11,000 square feet, but it feels so homey. And I think the reason is, is that they use a lot of the square footage, not only to have a nice size rooms, but also for hallways. So the gathering area, the walkways, just feels good. And don't forget, a lot of our clients are asking for a guest uh, suite in the main level, and this house has it. Yes, absolutely. So the layout is so right, because it answers a lot of the requirements that we hear today from all of our clients. Um, a main level uh, guest suite, mm -hmm. an elevator, a plush elevator, I might say, a 1,200 square feet master suite, a really great master suite, and four level living space. So there's room for everybody to be together, but also separate. Absolutely, and clearly it doesn't feel like it. The way it was built, it just, it all comes together. It does, it's a real home feel. So Nareet, this is a true chef's kitchen. Uh, wonderful for entertainment. Yes, and you know I love cooking, and this is absolutely a dream kitchen. It has um, great high-end cabinetry and high-end appliances and double oven and warming door and everything you can imagine and you need to have an amazing entertaining and food for the family. Absolutely, and it truly uh, comes together with the patio, uh, the actual uh, pool. It flows just naturally. So Nareet, uh, now that we look back uh, on the pandemic and everything, I think that our clients are valuing so much their backyards and they're embracing them to a whole different level. Absolutely, this is a staycation. This is the best entertaining right now. You can have, I can see how kids playing in the pool, running to this amazing backyard that is so quiet to hear only the birds. We have this beautiful deck we can grill. There's so much family fun and party you can enjoy. I love my kids having that kids coming over. So this is the perfect house for that. Totally, it just has it all. So this area is for the dogs. You can groom, you can shampoo, you can massage. There is a walkway right here for the dogs to go to a dog run and a doggy house right outside. So here is our dog's den right here in this house.
No, really, uh, if there is a place for the dogs, there is a place for the owners. 1,200 square feet of just luxury. Total plus, right? So it has, in this owner suite, we have a separate entrance, a beautiful fireplace, um, amazing luxury master suite and big closets. And let's not forget my favorite, which is right here, a balcony overlooking the pool. Wow, impressive. joining us for this show. It was truly fun to show our listing right here in Potomac. And we're looking forward to see you on our next episode of The American Dream. See ya. Up next, Nurit and Alex had a chance to have a great interview. Let's check out that conversation. Well, as you know, The American Dream is a national TV show centered on real estate, lifestyle, and culture. Alex and Nareet show us around D.C., but it's always nice to sit down with them and get some real information about what's happening in our marketplace. So joining us here, Alex and Nareet, good to have you guys again. How are you? Thank you. Thank you for having us again. And, and I always love how we have the, the fourth box uh, on the show, and you guys always choose a, a very high-profile guest to invite on. So, Nareet, I'll allow you to introduce James Harris, please. Yes, I'm so excited to have James Harris joining us today. Uh, James, uh, as you all know, from the Million Dollar Listing TV show, and also is um, in our office at the agency in California, and very excited to have you here. So, James. Thank you very much. Yeah. Very happy to be here. Yeah, James, welcome to have you on the show. Last time we had Mauricio on, you guys have really developed something pretty special as a brand with the agency attracting some of the best realtors in the world to, to this organization. So thanks for coming on the show. So you've been on the million dollar listing. What was that experience like? I mean, I'm still on the show. Yeah. It's been eight years now. And I think uh, probably 90 episodes later, and it's been a wild ride. I mean, to, to showcase your business and personal life on TV for eight, eight and a half years is definitely uh comes with its challenges and its ups and downs, but it's been great for business. Um, and it's it's great to be able to showcase the way you do business and, and let people know, not just buyers and sellers, but other agents uh, around the world, how you do business. So it's been an incredible journey. I'm very grateful. And uh, we've got another incredible season coming up this summer. So all very exciting. Yep. Well, I think media gives you a lot of that credibility. For example, Nareet and Alex yes. would not be on the show if they weren't number one in D.C. and so well-respected. So I think it gives credibility. But when you're, when you're selling real estate, what are you really doing? You're, you're marketing the property, right? So right. I, I look to realtors like, you better be a good marketer for yourself because if you're not, then <laughs> how are you going to market my property, right? And so Absolutely. I... You know, I've, I've heard comments from people saying, oh, well, you know, he's just a great marketer. And I always I always laugh because, like, well, isn't that exactly what you want out of your realtor Absolutely. is a, a great marketer? And, and, and that's actually very interesting, Craig. When I started with the agency, God, nine years ago, I was looking for a company that excelled in marketing. And what I realized with the agency and the way that I view the agency as a brokerage is we are really a marketing company that sells real estate, right? We're not a real estate company that has a marketing team. We're a full-blown marketing company with in-house marketing teams and digital teams and social media teams that specialize in selling real estate. And the truth is, this is a very simple business that a lot of people love to complicate, right? If you can market a property and you can get it out to the right people, you're going to sell it. Don't overcomplicate it. Keep it simple, stupid. And as you said, you have to market the property right if you're going to sell it. So go and find the right company that's going to help you market the property. You know, it's funny you said it, but it's so true. When I came to the business 20 years ago, the first thing I did is I hired the PR company. That's the first thing I did. And when I when we were looking, me and Alex, thinking about looking for a company to work with or to bring to DC, we went and 
and looked at different PR companies in California, and somehow we stumbled to the agency. Let's talk about that market a little bit, because it is, this market is insane. I mean, the inventory at historical lows, the number of buyers, getting your offer accepted. Alex, I know that you're very proficient in this. This is why you guys continue to have record numbers. I don't understand how any realtor can do business in this market, to be honest with you, but you guys seem to be continuing to trailblaze. So what's the uh, secret sauce? So the secret sauce, that's a great question. And I think that James touched a very important uh, uh, point there. Uh, showing uh, others how to go about their uh, business. Uh, he was talking about his show. Uh, I guess the collaboration that we get with the agency family has taught us, you know, how to go about business nowadays. It's crazy, but just having all these mastermind events, it just put things into perspective and it allows you to see things that you didn't see before. And this is how we're helping our buyers. This is how we're preparing our sellers. We're elevating ourselves. We're keeping up ourselves with the market. And we're trying to stay ahead of the market. So that's how we're going about it. Being a part of the big family of the agency has been a tremendous game for, for our team. Well, uh, We are implementing and adopting everything that they offer to us. So that's how that, we've gone about it, this market. Well, last year I went to sell my house. Well, it was low inventory and should have been an easy thing to do. I mean, I guess I could have gone through that same process a lot of sellers do of, could I just sell it on my own mm -hmm. for sale by owner? And I used uh, Seth O'Byrne, who's a regular on our show here in San Diego. And I got to tell you, the things he did for our property, this is so important for people watching here today. It's, it's everything, the curb appeal, the staging of the property, the video, the social media, everything he did that I would have tr maybe have thought, you know, you didn't need to do yeah. those things. It's low inventory. We're going to get a cash buyer in this crazy market. Well, we did get a cash buyer, but they fought for it. And we got it, we removed contingencies, top dollar, and we were out of there. It, was, it facilitated our family's ability to move into our dream home. If we didn't have an excellent realtor and a great marketer in the middle, not just the house itself, but in that social world, it would have made a big difference in the outcome. I really, really, I've experienced it firsthand. I'll, 100%. I'll leave it with you, Nareet. Uh, as far as this media thing goes and the market that we're in, I'll let you kind of take us out. Uh, with some final thoughts. So uh, the market is, is, you know, COVID has changed a lot of things yeah. right now. And the market is extremely, extremely strong. We are very low on inventory still. And uh, demand is very, very high. And it's going to stay like that for this rest of the year, I'm sure. Um, I, I think seller is now realizing that it's better for them if they were thinking about putting the house in the market later on. Maybe we should do it now. Because you could, we could do rent backs and, and negotiate some some things, um, but in terms of the media, having you, Craig, and and your show, for example, having the top agents throughout the nation, uh, we have a network of, of. I love our network of agents. So when I marketing, when we marketing our listings, we're marketing with the top agents in the agency throughout nationwide. The top agents through the American Dream nationwide. We have access to so many people which are, you know, the busiest people in the industry, which is great. And that helps a lot our sellers. Well, I'll tell you, I, um, I think the next year to two in the real estate business is going to really separate the good from the great. And I think it's going to yeah. I think it's going to move a lot of people out of the business. You know, you have a trillion dollars ish, plus or minus a few bucks in capital <laughs> that's circulating through the industry. You have companies that are going public. It's just a fascinating time. And this is a time, I think, where the best marketers gain the most market share. And you guys are excellent at that. What, a, what an interesting topic of conversation today. Very organic in, in, in the way that this went. James, thanks for dropping in and sharing your knowledge. Thank about what you. You've done in the media. Mauricio and Alex, thanks for leading the way out there in, in D.C. And, and I, I will make a statement about the agency. I've gotten to know your CEO, Mauricio, pr pretty well, and some of the agents that have moved that company. You guys really have an outstanding firm. And if I'm, if I'm watching this show and, and I'm trying to learn about my market, I, I know who I'm going to. So thanks for coming on the show and dropping some knowledge with us here today. Appreciate it. If you're looking for homes in the D.C., Maryland area, then you are in luck. We have Nareet Coom and Alex Martinez's latest listings right here. Let's check them out.
love with this move-in ready home located on a quiet cul-de-sac and sought-after heritage walk. Sited on a premium quarter-acre lot with a private fully fenced backyard, 10909 Waxwood Court is just steps from the Windermere Community Center, offering a clubhouse, a swimming pool, tennis courts, and a playground. Gleaming five-inch oak hardwood floors, recessed lighting, crown molding, skylights, and new oversized windows set the tone as you enter this light-filled 3,650 square foot home. With granite countertops, Mediterranean tile flooring, a breakfast bar, a gas range, and a convenient built-in workstation, the centrally located kitchen has everything that you need. Entertaining is easy with the kitchen flowing into an open living space, offering a breakfast room and a family room with an oversized wood-burning fireplace. Sliding glass doors frame the light-filled breakfast room and provide easy access to the patio and backyard retreat. Enjoy a delicious meal in the formal dining room, showcased by a wall of windows facing the private backyard, an office with built-ins, mudroom with garage access, and a powder room complete the easy living main level. Step upstairs to the spacious owner's suite, boasting new carpet, recessed lighting, and an expansive walk-in closet large enough to be converted to a fifth bedroom. Relax and unwind in the spa-like owner's bathroom, featuring a skylight, heated floors, an air-jetted soaking tub, dual vanities, and a standalone glass door shower. In addition, you'll find two more bedrooms and a full hall bathroom on this level. The fully finished lower level provides an expansive recreation room, a wine room, extra storage space, and a bonus fourth bedroom with an ensuite full bathroom. Enjoy the family-friendly neighborhood with an abundance of amenities and community activities. Walk or bike to Cabin John Park, offering numerous playing fields, hiking trails, an indoor ice rink, a miniature passenger train, and a dog park. Located just minutes to an abundance of shopping, dining, and entertainment destinations, and just two miles to I-270, I-495, and Grosvenor Metro, this one-of-a-kind home offers the very best of North Bethesda. Welcome to this highly sought after, rarely available, four level end unit townhouse style condo with a private elevator. Minutes from every possible amenity, this light filled home offers over 2,700 square foot of above ground living space, featuring light oak hardwood floors, custom crown molding, soaring nine foot ceilings, two fireplaces, and a two car garage. Step into the grand two-story foyer as you enter the bright and spacious living area. Prepare a delicious meal in the open kitchen with upgraded countertops and a breakfast bar. Relax in front of the fireplace in the adjacent window-lined family room with glass doors opening to the private deck. Enjoy the convenience of an above-ground lower level, offering a fourth bedroom, a recreation room, and a full bathroom. Unwind in the spacious owner's suite boasting tray ceilings, a sitting area with a second gas fireplace, a walk-in closet, and an attached bath with a jetted soaking tub. A second bedroom with an attached bath and an easy access laundry area are also found on this level. Hide away in the fourth level bedroom featuring a soaring cathedral ceiling, a walk-in closet, and a full bathroom. And at the end of the day, Take in the view from your private deck. This fantastic home is within walking distance of Pike and Rose, Rockville Pike, White Flint Metro, and numerous pools and parks. Located in the Charrington community and close to unlimited shopping, dining, and entertainment options, this home is perfect for living life to the fullest.
prominently sited on over two and a half acres at the end of a quiet cul-de-sac, this stately home offers an abundance of indoor and outdoor living spaces in picturesque Brookville, Maryland. Over 8,000 square feet of elegant finishes and modern comforts are found throughout, including a new roof, new and refinished hardwood floors, new carpets, and extensive renovations to open up main level living space. From the moment you step into the grand marble foyer, you'll notice the exceptional architectural details, including custom dental molding, premium red oak flooring, and contemporary lighting. Main level living spaces include the living room with a marble surround gas fireplace and a sunroom extension, a cozy library, and a formal dining room offering a butler's pantry. A convenient second front door entry opens to a sitting room, a full bathroom, and the back staircase. Located at the heart of the home, the gourmet kitchen boasts granite countertops, custom cabinetry, high-end stainless steel appliances, and a center island with a breakfast bar. Enjoy the ease of entertaining as the kitchen flows into the breakfast room and the impressive great room. With two story vaulted ceilings, oversized windows on two levels, and a fireplace set into a floor to ceiling stone accent wall, this is the perfect place to gather. Multiple access points to the terrace backyard allow for easily hosting guests outside on a large deck complete with a fire pit and a hot tub overlooking the playground and expansive wood-lined yard. Ascend to the upper level and relax in the spacious owner suite, offering a large walk-in closet and a spa-inspired bath, boasting a contemporary standalone soaking tub and a glass door shower. You'll also find three additional bedrooms, two full bathrooms, and a walk-in cedar closet on this level. Downstairs, the walk-up recreation area provides extra living and entertainment space, perfect for use as a playroom, theater room, or exercise room. You'll love this one-of-a-kind home located in a premier school district and close to the only shopping center with unlimited shopping, dining, and entertainment options. This is the perfect place to call home. We hope you enjoyed this latest episode of the American Dream TV in beautiful Washington, D.C. and Maryland. Make sure and follow us on social media and engage in the conversation. I'm your host, Amy Scruggs, and we look forward to seeing you next time. In the meantime, cheers to your American Dream.